one's bigger? What's the one's obviously bigger? Are you sure? I think they're both the same, right? But your eyes would have sworn that they're the that one was bigger than the other, right? Yeah. They're exactly the same. Can I show you a different magic trick? Keep that. That's for you. My gift to you. Okay, you. Let me show you another magic trick. Are you a good person? You're both good people? Yeah. Let's take a real quick test to see if you're mistaken, okay? okay? Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. What do you call people who tell lies? Liars. So what are you? Or liars. Liar. Yeah. Have you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you ever in your whole life? Yeah. Candy, an answer from somebody's test? No. Okay, you haven't stolen, you have. What do you call people who steal? Stealing. A thief. Oh, uh, yeah. So what are you? A thief. No, you're a lying thief. Uh, and you're just a run-in-the-mill liar. Okay. Have your parents ever punished you? Yeah. yeah. That means you haven't always honored your father and your mother. So by your admission, you're a liar, a thief, disobedient, rebellious. Is that a good person? No. And if you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Should God let guilty people into heaven? No. No. So where would you have gone had you died yesterday? <clears throat> You said not heaven, right? Yeah. So where would you have gone? No. That's right. You said it, I didn't. Do you realize I didn't tell you any information? I just asked questions. And you concluded rightly that you're headed for hell. But wait, there's, there's still good news. What did God do so you could be forgiven? Mm, <laughs> right. Jesus Christ, who is God in the flesh, yeah. died on the cross for your sins and mine. Do you know why he had to do it that way so you could be forgiven? Because God is going to punish every sin. If He punished you for your sins, where would you have ended up? That's what you said earlier, right? You're right. But if God punishes your sin by punishing Jesus instead of you, then He could give you mercy. Isn't that good news? Yeah. Right? So, does that mean every, everybody goes to heaven because Jesus died on the cross? Who goes to heaven? The people who repent and believe in Jesus. Here's what Jesus said in John 6, 47. He who believes in me has everlasting life. Tell me how to go to heaven. Uh, you do good things for people, you help others. Did I say anything about good things, good works, or doing good things? Yeah. Let, me, let me say that one more time. John 6, 47, Jesus said, He who believes in me has everlasting life. How do you go to heaven? Believing in you. And who's the him? Jesus. That's right. I want to give you a different verse. Pay attention. Same thing. Acts 16, 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. How do you go to heaven? Believe in the Lord. Jesus Christ. Yes. So, okay, good. So, um, I just shared with you how to go to heaven. This information in the Bible is called the gospel. Do you believe it? Yeah. Because you didn't know how to go to heaven until I just spoke to you clearly, right? <clears throat> because you believe the gospel, you can go to heaven. Are you ready to lay down your old life, pick up your cross and follow Jesus right here, right now? Yeah? What's your first name? Raul. Raul? Yeah, Wendely. Wendely? Yeah. I'm going to ask you four questions and pray for you to receive Jesus right here. Is that okay? Yes. Do you agree that you sinned against God? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus died for you on the cross? Yes. Do you believe he then rose again on the third day? Yes. Do you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever? Heavenly Father, Lord, would you please receive these two young people into your kingdom? They, they just heard the gospel. They believe it. Please fill them with the Holy Spirit so they can obey. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, guys, if you truly made a commitment to believe and obey Jesus, you are saved. But not everybody who says they believe truly believe. Let me show you how you'll know you truly believed, okay? Two things. Anytime you wonder if you're saved, look for these two things. One, you continue to believe the gospel that Jesus died for you, rose again. Two, you continue to grow in holiness. Can anybody tell me what it means to grow in holiness? Anybody? Grow. So it means to become more and more holy or to obey God more and more over time and sin less and less, to become more like Jesus over time because you're reading the scriptures and as you read this, the Bible, God's changing you with his spiritual food. You're becoming nourished and you're, you're growing into this new creation, okay? So, again, if you continue to believe the gospel that Jesus died for you, continue to grow in holiness, then you're guaranteed you're saved. So, what, what city do you live in? Do you guys go to church already? Yeah, yeah we go to church. What church do you go to? Uh, uh, San Lawrence. Yeah. 
Yeah. Is it a Catholic church? Yeah. So, do you know what the difference between Catholicism and Christianity is? And why there was a huge war over that? Because we believe in the saints? That's not the main reason. Let me show you here. I'm going to give you these, okay? Yeah. I'm going to show you something. Would you do me a favor and read this verse out of the Bible out loud? For by grace? For, for my grace you have been saved through faith, and that now you have yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Do you know what that's talking about? Mm. It tells you how you're saved, right? Yeah. How are you saved? By what? By through grace, faith. through faith, right? So grace and faith are the things that bring you salvation. Mm -hmm. Now it goes on to tell you what it's not of, right? Not what? Of yourselves. And not what? Not of works. What does not of works mean in relationship to salvation? Mm, not sure. You can't work for it. You can't earn it. You don't need to work for it. It's a gift given to you just when you believe, okay? Mm -hmm. The reason I show that to you is that's from the Bible. Do you believe it? that you're yeah. saved just by as a gift through faith in Jesus? You believe the Bible? Yeah. The Catholic Church doesn't believe it. Mm -hmm. So I would highly encourage you to find a Christian church that actually believes the Bible because that's where you're going to get taught to the truth. How long have you been a Catholic? Your whole life? Yeah. Now, isn't it interesting that you've been a Catholic your whole life and you didn't know how to go to heaven? Doesn't that concern you? That should be the very first thing you're taught, right? Because w when were you going to die? You don't know, right? If you died not believing the gospel, you would have gone the wrong way. So mm -hmm. my name is Tony. My email's in there. Send me an email if you have any questions. Okay. Would one of you be comfortable sharing your phone number with me so I can stay in touch with you? No, no worries. That's, um, my email's in there. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Okay. God bless you guys. Thank you.